security controls you can say umbrella term basically it is something which is designed to make you know a give a system or data assets the properties of confidentiality integrity availability and non repetition which we saw so what happens in security controls they are uh, divided into your three broad categories actually okay so those categories are your technical operational and managerial managerial you can say administrator ever heard about these three like whatever the security control you are applying be it firewall ids ips anything xyz right they fall under the category of your security control okay so what happens because these things are what these are helping us to maintain our cia only correct isn't it so they are divided into your three broad categories one is technical operational and managerial what do you think will be in your technical control for example can we say firewall it will be a technical control correct so a control which is implemented as a system will be considered as your technical control like a firewall antivirus right firewall for example right so you can also say they are also described as your logical controls basically what do you think will be your operational control it is a control which is implemented primarily you know by people rather than systems over there okay so like for example your security guards uh, or can we say like your training programs they are also your operational controls rather than your technical controls over here the logical ones okay and they can be your physical controls as well like you know so something like your tangible that is used to prevent or deter, detect any unauthorized access to your physical areas cctv camera exactly surveillance cameras even your biometric sensors correct access cards your motion sensors etc 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 will be part of your operational control managerial what do you understand by managerial are they are also mentioned as your administrative control managerial will be like you know where we refer to policies procedures or guidelines you can say that will be defining your uh, business practices you know, according to your you know organization's security goals like in short you might have heard about these terminologies right employee hiring their termination right you can say separation of duties have ever heard about them separation of duties right data classification even your auditing will be the part of these things okay so i'll be just mentioning that separation of duties or you can say even data classification these things will be a manager or you can say administrative control basically these are types okay then we do have your control functions also we do have what we have your control security control function types okay so they can your security controls they can also be classified in types according to the goal or you can say function they perform so we have the function type which are like these preventive detective corrective and your this deterrent physical deterrent compensating okay what do you mean by uh, this thing preventive so ips definitely is part of your preventive which will be helping you to protect right protect your you can say environment over there right so it will be you can say it's kind of a control that will be eliminating or reducing the likelihood that an attack can succeed over there right so you can say your preventive control they will be operating before an attack can even take place right so ips definitely will be a very good example for that okay then if you talk about detective what will you say so here what we are doing and detective this control it may not prevent or deter you can say those access of an attack but but it will do what it will identify and code any attempt or successful 
intrusion right so for example i'm mm -hmm. just mentioning your logs logs are also part of a detection detective only correct like simple examples yeah. i'm putting over here now corrective so it will do what it will be eliminating or you can say reduce the impact of an intrusion in your organization right so you can say kind of a control which is used after an attack okay so can i say a very good example i have backup right when we back up the systems that can restore data you know that was damaged during an intrusion right or your patch management can also be part of it isn't it make sense then we have physical what do you understand by physical one physical the same one which you have just discussed before alarms gateways locks even your security cameras right and your guards also okay hope that this might be very clear right which is regarding a physical security okay nice one deterrent what do you understand by deterrent guys have you ever seen that when you are visiting some place like uh, someone houses they put up a board that be aware of dogs ever seen like be aware of dogs or uh, like when you when you travel in a metro or somewhere they have like for example uh, currently if you talk about currently there is a you know they put up a sort of a warning board like if you are not wearing mask you will be fined of 500 rupees something like that correct so your deterrent controls are the same like okay when there was a lockdown in india we all heard that our prime minister he gave a speech right like he we all wait for that particular hour when your prime minister will be giving the speech right when he update about the things correct so your prime minister what he did he told us he gave us the guidelines right those administrative you can say he gave us the guidelines that you cannot go out of your houses and there will be a complete lockdown you won't be able to go out go outside the houses no cab will be running over there no food delivery etc etc now you all have seen that in the news that if you go out during that lockdown police police outside over there they will be you know uh, giving you a very warm welcome with their bamboo sticks correct that was happening isn't it so now what happened that fear of that warm welcome it made people from going it stopped people from going outside right that fear stopped people from going outside isn't it so that warning that particular thing is referred to as your deterrent so this control may not physically or logically prevent access but it does what it psychologically discourages an attacker from attempting an intrusion over there so it will be including like signs and warnings of you can say any kind any kind of a legal penalties against any kind of a intrusion so you know psychologically discouraging an attacker to not attack in that particular place clear compensating compensating just like a normal word it uh, you know it works as a substitute of for your principal control okay so you might not put the same like uh, not might not you uh, afford the same or you can say even uh, you know a good level of protection but here you use different methodology or technology okay like a compensating someone some uh, and substitute if your primary fails down that thing so you can say a single employee let's suppose there is a single employee who has this duty of accepting cash payment in a bank okay and recording the deposit and you know preparing a monthly financial report so to prevent error or fraud you do what you add some additional oversight over there in that particular person so additional oversight is required at that time 
So this means we need to we need a compensating control like your leader performing a review of those you know financial reports right or, or any other unit performing the or those kind of a reconciliation okay so that will be your compensating 